In the 1980s, the IEEE 802.3 Working Group introduced twisted pair network cabling, also known as Base T. The first implementation was 10 Base T for 10 megabit per second data rates. Since then, the IEEE 802.3 Working Group has ratified specification changes to support other speeds. And the latest amendments for Base T technology were approved in 2016. The data rates seem attractive, but have sadly fallen behind where the industry has headed and adoption is non-existent. Two of the main deterrents to using 10G Base T are much higher power consumption and higher implementation costs. The bleak future of Base T technology has never been more apparent when we look at the potential successors in 25G Base T and 40G Base T. The top market players have analyzed 25G Base T and 40G Base T. After consulting with customers, analysts, and ecosystem providers, it has become clear that there is little or no interest in this technology for the following reasons. One the need for new CAT8 cable, which has no deployment and is an expensive shielded cable. 2. The cable length restriction of 30 meters versus 100 meters in other Base-T technologies. And 3. The substantially higher power requirement when compared to SFP28 direct attach cable or optical modules operating at 25G. It is worth mentioning PoE for Base-T technologies since it has been a benefit for some applications, mostly for lower data rate and lower power applications. PoE is power over Ethernet, which is simply sending power over the same cable used for data for the sake of powering devices on the network. The technology does come with a penalty, where a PoE device will consume an extra 1 watt to implement. For end devices that use 10G Base-T and already consume 3 to 4 watts for only the physical layer chip, one must now also account for the added 1 watt for PoE and then also account for the strain put on the server room to source PoE while also having to process the much higher data rates of 10G Base-T. Most manufacturers realize this, and thus very few implement 10G Base-T devices and even fewer implement such devices with PoE support. It is clear that SFP technologies are far more attractive than Base-T technologies and are the path forward for Ethernet speeds 10G and higher. Regardless, devices are most often powered locally, since AC power is virtually always available throughout an installation. Nevertheless, an alternative is to take a standard SFP cable installation and run a 2-connector 12 or 16 AWG copper cable alongside, which provides power and ground. Hybrid cables are also becoming more available now from companies such as Belden and Comscope who are effectively following the market trends. If we implement such an installation, this would provide support for decades to come. This would support emergent HR, Bolt, Extreme, and Zenith cameras with respective speeds of 10 giggy, 25 giggy, 50 giggy, and 100 giggy, and cover at least the maximum supported length of 100 meters for PoE Base-T technologies. To summarize the SFP benefits over Base-T technologies, 1. Virtually unlimited speeds. 2. Virtually unlimited cable lengths. 3 no large additional power consumption due to Base-T and PoE technologies for reduced size and no fans. 4. Lower cost due to excellent adoption by major industry players. And 5. Reusable cable infrastructure options for later higher speed system upgrades. For further information and to learn more about Emergence high-speed cameras, please visit our website at emergentvisiontech.com.